Back again, my beautiful people. You don't know the boy Yardman there. Big up on yourself to all my viewers and subscribers. You don't know we're there. Bright and early Sunday morning before we leave out to work. Before the game kick off. You know we have to get up early to do this thing. But yes, people. <sighs> Tomorrow. I'm just, I just can't wait to just look in those Tottenham people eyes and just start to laugh because it's bad chat. Bad chat they're coming to give into man. Bad chat fam. Bad chat these little stupid supporter talk. What they're going to do to us, they're going to end our Premier League dream and do you really believe that Tottenham going to beat us tomorrow? All you dumbass Tottenham supporter, do you really, not even and Pastor Cargo believe that he's going to win tomorrow. Not even the 24 player believe that they're going to win tomorrow. They're not even, I'm telling you this right now. Not even a shot on target for the first 20 minutes. I can't put that to even half an hour. Not even a shot on target. I'm telling you, this is our focus. This is A plus game we're going there with. Trust me, we're going there with an A plus game. Everybody coming off of that pitch. Is 10. Every single player who come onto the pitch for Arsenal, we're going to score them 10, not less than 10. It's going to be one of the most perfect games for Arsenal. I believe and I truly believe. You don't, you never hear me come and talk about Arsenal like this. I'm telling you tomorrow. M M Mikel Arteta don't have to go and give no speech tomorrow. He don't have to do that in the dressing room. I'm telling you, you're just going to pick the team and walk out and leave them argument done. They know what to do. They know what time is it. It is judgment day for Tottenham. Because tomorrow, going to see their fate that they ain't going to play Champion League. They ain't going to play Champion League. Go and play Europa League. Not even Europa League. Go and play the, 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 the conference. Is it conference they call it? Or the conference league, I wait want to call. That's what you're going to play. That's what you're fit to play. You ain't fit to play um, Europa League. You, you don't fit for Europe. You don't ready for Europa League. But before we get into all of that, people, we're going to speak a little about Liverpool. Yes, you hear me right. Liverpool and that thing that they call Manchester United because Dunga are always blue. Just always. It's not like London are always red. Dunga and Manchester are always blue. The, these the flex gone and red and I'm done with Manchester United. Him cannot bother. Rants. Rants us speak about other different things. Very weird you speak about Manu. This is how much those dieted supporters don't even believe in their own club. Their club is sinking like Titanic. Man jump off and leave it. I don't know what happened. Manu is one of, could become the one of the worst club in England. And they call themselves a big club. One of the worst so-called big club in England right now. Them and Liverpool. Them and Liverpool is one of the... You see this? You see this? At this one, we use and flatten Tottenham tomorrow. Cannon! We now go over there with no handgun. We now go over there with no machine gun. No tanker. No, at this way I use. You see this? At that way I use. I'm going to show you how we start our people tomorrow. We're going to show you like how we do with people, what we do with people tomorrow. Because Tottenham going to get it straight up. But anyway, like I said... Manchester United, you lot don't fit the purpose right now. Take back the club off a stock market because I don't believe you lot believe that you're a big club, but you ain't. You're not. You're not in a, you're not a big club. It's just because everybody just gravitated to this Manchester United, Manchester because you lot was winning. Yeah, yeah, it's not a big club. Right about now, Arsenal have more support have more supporter than any other club in this football club in this world. I'm telling you. Even when other clubs support other teams, like, oh, Arsenal is my second team, oh, Arsenal. You ever hear people say, we are the most loved club in football. We are the most loved. Every single... Everybody love us. Don't to Saddam Hussein love us. Don't to Saddam Bin Laden support us. Or, well, obviously, we have to support Arsenal because that's why I have to support Arsenal. But, like I said, Liverpool, they just give up. You're going club, what's wrong with you? Why are you on the sideline telling Mo Salah to go, come on the pitch and go and win the game for you? Be a hero. Or if you tell a man to be a hero, then you should have start the man. Huh? 
Come on, uh, come on, you're going clock, man. Come on. You're losing it, fam. You're losing it. Sal have to run the man and tell the man for go away. Come out time ears. Why never start him? Honestly, that's what Salah said. I lip read. I lip read it. That's what Salah said. That's what that's my main job. After I finish cook a taste of flavor, I do lip read. Honestly. And that's what Salah said to him. He never said to him in that Jamaican slang. But I'm just telling it directly, like, that's what he said to him. Get the fuck out of him ears. Why the fuck you never start him? Why the fuck you gonna send a man to, to, to try to be a hero and tell the man to go be a hero to save the game? Come on, win the game. The man have to run him. Salah, you're right to run club. He's a club, 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 clock. Manchester United, you lot are done running here, fam. So, for the rest of this football season, for the next 10 years, what you're gonna hear, who's gonna, um, um, gonna be fighting for the Premier League title each and every season, it's only going to be Arsenal and Man City. Maybe Chelsea is going to come third a couple of times, maybe fourth. But that's, that's the only two clubs right now in England that can win the Premier League, Arsenal and Man City. Honestly, everybody can... I'm not even joking. Like, it's really serious. It's serious. Tomorrow, like I said, Mikel Arteta don't have to give a speech. Tomorrow is Judgment Day for Tottenham. Tottenham, we're going to seal your fate. We're going to let you know that you're not even going to play in the Premier League. Sorry, in the Champion League or the European League. Not, sorry to say Champion League. Are they all ready for this? Year. You're not going to play in the European League tomorrow. Um, next season. You're not. You're going to play in that, um, what's the club, um, that West Ham in conference? It's the conference league. Yeah, you're going to play in that. That's what you, I don't even think you're, fit, you're ready to play in that, but we're going to send you and play in that. But tomorrow is judgment day. And tomorrow, Arsenal are going to show that we are here and we are here for a purpose. And we're not going to make Man City run away with this Premier League title like what, like what they did last year. I'm telling you, there's a couple of um, Tottenham fans coming to the shop today, running off his mouth. I have, have the video. I'm going to put it up on my, on my, on my, check it out. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to put it up. This man have the art to come and argue. Like, why you Tottenham supporter feel like you wanna have the art to argue with the Arsenal supporter? Why? We're not in the same class. We are a club that win trophy. You are a club that come here to participate, to build up, make numbers. That's what you do. The, 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 listen, if you never know, Tottenham build a new stadium. And Daniel Levy decided that he was not going to build a trophy room. You know what the guy built? A cheese room. Tottenham do have a trophy room because not even them chairman believe that they can win trophy. But you know what Tottenham um, achievement every season is? To try and beat Arsenal. Not even to beat Arsenal. To try and beat Arsenal. Like, is that's why you're in the Premier League? Because everybody else, I mean, like from the club, them who come up from the, the championship, they are, they are fighting to stay in the Premier League. We understand them three club there. But the rest of them are, are challenging for the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. But Tottenham aim is to try to stop Arsenal. Why? Like, you don't see that's working. It ain't working for you, lad. Get over on yourself now. Leave it alone. Try and win trophy. Tomorrow, we're going to show you how football play. Tomorrow, we're going to go come to your stadium, come to your yard, and we're going to... We're going to flag you. We're going to teach you a lesson. So all you Tottenham supporters out there, when you see yard man, when you see on a fellow Arsenal supporter, when you're supposed to salute us. Don't get bright and try to size up. We are not in the same class. We are not on the same level. And this is what hurt me. This is what hurt me. We are not on the same level. We are we up here. And I, I can't even look down and see you lad. I can't even look down because right now, you still not sit up now. I don't know where you lad is. Stop it. Stop it. Saka, Martinelli, Oligard, and, and Kyle Aver tomorrow. They will score. I'm telling you right now, the score is 4 nil. The first 30-35 minutes, I can bet anything. 
Tottenham not going to have a shot and target. I'm telling you. Tottenham maybe have a shot, but it won't be on target. The first 30, 35 minutes, even possibly being, possibly being, even for the first 45 minutes, they won't have a shot on target. We are coming with an A-plus game. Tomorrow, we are coming with an A-plus game. Mikel Arteta don't need to do no speech tomorrow. We don't need it. We know what to get done, and we're going to do what we know how to do. That's all right. That's all right. How to do. So anyway, go with it. Yeah, we're going to do what we know how to do. Yeah. So, big up on yourself, my people. And I don't know the boy I am, and there we're going to be... No, we're working tomorrow. Sorry, people. With that taste of flavor, working tomorrow. When you don't know the restaurant, there, you know, Annaly Road, 118 Annaly Road. Taste of flavor, the best. I'm not even, I'm not even going to say the best. People tell me it's not self-praise. You see them, you see them here? Them here? Magic in that kitchen. When I'm having all this, magic work. Magic work in there. So come and check out Taste of Flavor. 118 Annaly Road. We open from 6.30. Breakfast. Porridge. Everything there. Check out with, with natural juice. Um, beetroot. Um, Saril. Guinness, the best Guinness sponge you can ever drink in your life. I swear to you. The best Guinness sponge you will ever drink in your life. You hear me say? Check out Tasty Flavor. The best Caribbean restaurant. 118 Annaly Road, SC20, SC19, 2AN. Yardman shot that. Come check you out. Come taste the flavor. Come taste the people. So anyway, my beautiful people, big up on yourself. When you don't know. Hey, wait. Tomorrow. So the starting 11, my prediction starting 11, will be with natural back foot. No, sorry. He's going to start Zinchenko tomorrow. I believe that um, Kibiot not going to start. No, I lie. So the back four going to be Davi Dav Ray and goal, William Saliba, Gabriel, Ben White, um, Kibiok is going to be tomorrow. Tottenham playing an eye line tomorrow. So who best to play tomorrow? Thomas Party look really good against Chelsea, you know? Really good against Chelsea. So Mikel Artes is supposed to have scratch him and say, Thomas Party or Georgina. Georgina had more control the game and put the game on need. You know, his pace. Do we want that tomorrow? I we want a man who will go in there and, you know, give Declan Rice the, the, the freedom to rule because they're gonna play, they're gonna play an open. That's what Andrew Pasakagla do. He play an open ball game. They don't, they, they're not going to sit back. Definitely. They're going to they're gonna play an eye line. Definitely. So, who best to play tomorrow? I'm, I'm, I'm sitting on the fence with that, you know. And I'm more going for Georgina tomorrow, to be honest with you. I'm more looking for Georgina to start tomorrow with um, Declan Rice and Oligard. And up front, I believe, because of that eye line, if Mikel Ateta think, he will start Martinelli. Martinelli, Kyle Avert, and Saka. So that will be the starting 11. I'm pretty sure. The starting. So it's just two of them, kind of, maybe three. But I, I believe the starting 11 is David Ray and Goal, William Saliba, Gabriel, Ben White, Kibiok, um, Georgino, Declan Rice, Oligard, and in uh, up front, we, we are going to have Kyle Avert. Martinelli and Saka. So that my prediction starting 11 tomorrow. And that should be go. I know that Timba is back in contention. He's going to be on the bench tomorrow. Positive sure that we'll see him play in the under 21 score a goal. I don't take it for nothing. Everybody putting it up and railing. Oh, him score a goal. Right? A beautiful goal. But I don't take it for nothing. I see him score them all the time. So, yeah. So, good luck to him. I hope him get some farmer. Uh, um, game time tomorrow, but if not, we know I'm going to play in the next um, Premier League game coming. So, yes, people, that's how it is. That's where the people Tottenham getting flagged 3 or 4 nil tomorrow. 
not taking back that one. So, Anthony, you can ring me. All of you Tottenham supporter, what was I call him? Expression. You're going to hear that tomorrow. Be a fuckery, my son. Oh, you act him like that. Blah, blah, blah. Be a fuckery. Be a fuckery that guy is still on and pre -fam. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know what's wrong with that fellow. All him do a chat with other people team, but him not talk to him, never see him team. Only thing him ever see Tottenham win was a Carabao Cup. Oh, shame on you. Oh, we got the best stadium in football. The stadium can move. We can play rugby. We can do drag race. We can we can have Beyonce there. That's not where you have the stadium for. You have the stadium for win trophy, fam. That's all Daniel, Daniel Levis talk about, you know. This guy did not build a trophy room. The guy built a cheese room. The way Daniel Levis... Yo, let me tell you something. When you go to Tottenham and go in a stadium, they, it rank. You know the man, though? The man take the piss where people piss half time and, and, and before the game and after the game and use it water about the pitch. That's how Daniel leave him skin just here. That's when they go tap them when they leave people asking up them nose. They ring fam. Be a pissed up on the ground. Who does that? Who does that? Wait, I'm telling the tap is not. This is why I'm telling the tap is not a football club. Daniel Levy under the. The, we saw the car park supposed to be there. The man have a brewery underneath that bring him own a beer for sale. Huh? This man is not a football man. Well, that they even keep on doing what you're doing. Build a cheese room, build a brewery, 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 I to and call them brewery, brewery, beer, and, 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 and keep on using the piss them and water about the pitch. Because that's all on the good for down there. Me don't know who tell this guy that him can use urinate and, and Spread, but that's why every single player come back from Tottenham, them ring. The supporter, the, all, the, all, the, all, the, all the Tottenham um, supporter, them are them ring, them stink a piss because the piss just a come back after. Them. Think about it. You sit down in a in a close up environment, and the, the, when the player them are run from the pitch and uh, irritate the pitch, and that stench a come up. That urinated stench I come up off of the pitch. Like, come on, man. Fam, I go in there and I tell him, I feel like this wall, my breath, and can't understand how I when I realize, man, I have the piss and the water, the, the, the bloody pitch. Come on, man. But people, <laughs> people, <laughs> no, it's not even a laughing thing, fam. You see, Daniel Levy, that man is not a football man. That man is a businessman. That man don't care of winning no trophy for Tottenham. Honestly, the man care about bringing Beyonce there, bringing boxing there, bringing the NFL there. That's all him care about. And then the best, nice thing. What if you have the good, best, nice thing the man and can't win nothing in there? Huh? Come on, man. So, all you Manu fans, big down on yourself. Liverpool fans, keep on being a fool. Arsenal supporter, Arsenal fan, we're going to show them what we're going to do. We're Gunners for life. Come on, you Gunners. Tottenham get battered everywhere they go. Tottenham get battered everywhere they go. Everywhere they go. We win the league at White Hart Lane. We win the league. Big up on yourself, people. We'll show Tottenham what we can do tomorrow. We don't know we're there. Big up! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, people. Now, nah, see the subscriber, them are. Make the thing up, 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 up. Subscribe!